grey-headed Welshman Di Dower meets the German bantamweight champion Willibald Koch at Sophia Gardens, Cardiff. In the first round, Dower slips to the canvas, but no harm done. The Welsh boy is fighting at eight stone four, his heaviest ever. Koch goes down this time, but again it was no more than a slip. Jimmy Wilde, the king of the flyweights, watches Dower, who's been tipped to wear the same crown, show his superiority over Koch. The German is a substitute for Frenchman Bouginot and seems hardly in Dower's class, though he's got more than his ration of pluck. <laughs> Dai Dower, the Empire flyweight champ, forces the pace almost all the way through the first two rounds. The fight is presented by Sidney Evans, who gave Dower his first professional chance some years ago. seems mighty confident as he gets set for round three, and well he might, for Koch has been far from happy in face of the Welshman's cool attacks. Halfway through the third round now, and Dower fires a right that sends Koch reeling. Two more hard rights send him down to the canvas. He won't be up for a long time. The Welshman, who says he hoped the fight would go the full ten rounds, has won by a clear knockout. Di Dower, who is certainly one of Britain's best boxing hopes, will soon challenge Eric Marsden for the British flyweight title.